Hey everybody! Today, Rotto is going to learn how to play Wondrous Creatures. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel in case we make any rules goofs. And without further ado, hey Alex, welcome back. Glad to be here. I'm excited to teach you about uh, Wondrous Creatures. I am so happy you make my life so much better. <laughs> Folks, in case this is the first time you've seen Alex on the channel, he runs his own YouTube channel and TikTok channel called Might I Suggest, and he is blowing up on TikTok. And that's all great and well, but I'm trying to get him to put more stuff on YouTube. But he is here today. He lives relatively close by. He has already played Wondrous Creatures several times, and he is going to teach me and... Uh, indirectly you how to play this game and then we're going to play it now if you just want to see the action you just want to get right to it you can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen or follow the links down in the show notes to go directly to the gameplay portion or just the final thoughts if you just want a sense for what alex feels after having played it a bunch of times and how i feel about it after having played it my first time but without further ado alex take it away all <clears> right well, today we're playing Wondrous Creatures in Wondrous Creatures. You are yes. some explorers who have discovered this island that is full of creatures, wondrous ones, of course. Is this me? That is you. That right. is you. I'm not going to bury the lead, folks. When Alex showed me this, look, uh, I've got some creatures, and this is me riding one of the creatures, and listen closely. Can you hear that? Magnets! I will not fall off! Woohoo! I love magnets in board games. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just had to get that out of the way. Fantastic. Please continue. Fantastic uh, component quality, even for a prototype. Yeah, so definitely, definitely. Can't complain about that. But uh, you will be taking your crew around the island to gather resources, collect different, do research on some of these different creatures, place them in your tableau, and ultimately score the most points to win the game. Okay. So, in order to do that... You are going to be kind of doing this worker placement thing. It feels like a cousin to Everdell, so if you've played, oh. you know, for if you know Everdell, then this one should be fairly easy for you to pick up. Okay. So uh, there are four, there are three main actions that you can do on your turn, and we'll just go through them one by one. But uh, we'll get to the refresh <coughs> action at the end of it. So okay. the first thing that you can do, you can place your crew. Right. You start the game. You've got two regular crew, and then you've got one crew captain. Yes. Okay, so that's the one with your magnetic meeple on top, and that captain has a special power. At the beginning of the game, it doesn't start with any special power, but as you complete different objectives on your board, you will be able to oh, add is that powers. What this is? Exactly. Yes, because you were showing me when I put these in that chunk, that's I've now right. got this power. That's right. So as okay. soon as you have two cards in your tableau, you get that first power, okay. and then the first time that you complete an objective, you get the second power. Okay, so that will make your crew captain slightly more valuable than the rest of you. But at the beginning, he has the same function as the other ones. Exactly, okay. exactly. So when you place a crew, you'll notice that these meeples are slightly longer than Look your typical things. worker, right? So yes, yeah. some very interesting. And the reason why they're slightly longer is because <gasps> they take up two spaces yes, on the they board. Do, don't so they? Oh for example, gosh. if I were to place my crew here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, I'm covering two spaces. At the beginning of the game, you can only place it in these plains areas here, okay. the sandy areas. Okay. But some of the abilities will allow you to, for example, yours allows you to place on mountain areas and things okay. like that oh, I see. Yeah, once that you one. upgrade it. Okay. Right? So when I place it on the sandy areas, any resource tiles that I am adjacent to, I will be able to collect that resource. Okay. Okay. So in this case, I could get a fruit, I could get a flower, and I could get a coral. Okay. Okay. Now... In lieu of taking one of those resources, you can also choose to take one of the cards in the wilderness here, one okay. of the creatures in the wilderness based on the habitat that you may be taking. So, for example, if I chose to not take a coral, I could take one of these creatures that inhabits the coral, coral area. Icon. So, right. coming here gives you access to either these three resources or, hey, coral, mm -hmm. that's great. And uh, let's see, is that the flower? So you can That's get right. that one. And hey, you can, so anything except for this, because mm -hmm. you're not next to a mushroom. That's right. Okay. So I could get up to three creatures into my hands, oh. or I could get up to three resources into my supply, okay. or I could do a mix of both. Oh, okay. So you're going to take three things. Three things. Uh, com combining however you want between those things. That's right. But apparently not eggs. Yes. We'll come back to those, I'm sure. Yes, we'll come back to... Well, we'll talk about them right now. So, okay. uh, as you can see, there are a few eggs on the board, and each round there will be more eggs added to the board. Eggs basically represent creatures that you can have a one for a one-time use. Okay. So, these eggs will be put in your egg tracker on your board. You can okay. see that you've yep. got a little yep. track here, and the more eggs you get, obviously you get a few bonuses, so you can draw cards off the top of the deck, or you can get an extra resource, or potentially, if you get to the end, you can get even more victory points, okay. right? 
But if you don't put your crew down on an egg, you can't collect it immediately. What you'll have to do is you just have to spend one of your butterfly nets. At which we start, each of us starts with one of those. Everybody starts with one of those, and you can collect more by advancing on the points track here. Okay, so is that one of the three things I could do? That is a free action. That so is in addition to getting three resources or cards. Exactly, okay. so using a butterfly net is a free action. So you can use a butterfly net to collect an egg that is adjacent to the character that you have. Can you, if I have multiple nets, can I use multiples? You can use multiples, okay. but you each of them can only do one thing. Right, because oh. nets can also activate these other circles. Hey, look at that! I didn't right. see those. So I'm next to a space, a resource tile that has a circle on it, and what that is, that's a special action. Okay. okay. So on the board, there are two of every resource tile that have a special action on them, and we will also be collecting more tiles throughout the game okay. that have slightly better actions that will be replacing the Upgrading ones that are on the board. board. Upgrading okay. the board. Yes. So this first one, this is a sweep. Uh, which basically means that you will sweep three of them off, so only half of the row. You'll sweep okay. one side or the other, okay. sweep three cards off, refill it, and then you get to draw one card. That's the difference between this and the regular sweep. You draw one card? You get to draw a card or from the row. Not blind? Not blind. Okay. All right. Correct. So if I wanted to, instead of taking an egg, I could spend my butterfly net to take that special action. In instead. addition to getting your three things. Exactly. Okay. So, But nets, I will say, nets are not easy to come by. Oh. So... Use them wisely. Okay. That's what I'll say. So, when I place my crew there, right, like I said, you get the resources or you get the creatures, mm -hmm. and you can you can use your butterfly nets to get anything okay. that's adjacent to you. Okay. Got it. So that's placing a crew. That, that is, is the place one of the action. things I can do on my turn. Exactly. Okay. So that's just the worker placement aspect. And you will you can place it anywhere on the sandy items. The one thing that I will say is you cannot overlap. As you so you can't overlap yourself sure. or you can't overlap an opponent either. And currently we have to be on the sandies, but eventually we could upgrade and go. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the next action that you can take, similar to Everdell, is you can play cards from your hand. I so have cards. At the beginning of the game, we start with eight cards. We have to discard down to four. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll do that later on because. Do we have the same hand card, or have we just drawn eight blind? And yeah. We okay. Eight from the top of the deck. Gotcha. And what you'll do, you can play up to two cards. On your turn. Okay. So, uh, you would play a card one at a time, and when you play cards one at a time, you will spend the resources that it has on the left side of the card, and you will place it in your tableau. Now, there's a couple things to pay attention to okay. here that you need to know. Obviously, the resource cost is there uh, right under the fish on your card there, so that one costs two coral and a flower. Okay. But it also represents, so it is a fish type creature which will work you towards the end of game objectives which Lots will of objective cards. yes which we'll go through in a second okay. and then on the far right that's the habitat which could also work you towards some different objectives Meaning on the board this. yes okay. that correct now there is also a little icon there right before the big white box of, of information that is telling you the types of card or the type of effect that it could have, right? So there are five different effects, and I actually have them up here oh, hey, let's on go the back board, to that. too. So if you want I don't to have to show those. you my entire hand. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. That's easy for me. That's great. I love that. Um, so the, the easiest one, right? The lightning bolt means you take that action right away. And then it's just done. And then it's and done. Then it's, it's just one -time worth effect. its points and potentially more points for objectives. Correct. And okay. generally, what you'll notice is uh, red is yep. end of game points and any brown seals those are immediate points okay okay so this card ha has a little bell on it yes, that's an end of game objective okay. so this one will score at the end of game you'll get one point for every red crustacean card or egg that you have in your tableau okay. okay this one is a recharge action so when it has that hourglass on it that means that every time you have to refresh your actions which we'll talk about in okay. a second okay you will be able to take that so this is one point per every end game objective that you have. Okay. Okay. And this one right here, this one has a little purple burst symbol. That one is an energy card. And when you use the energy cards, you'll get, you'll start with full charges. And it's basically, you get to do a special power as many times as you have charges on the card. Okay. So it's like- Whenever I want? Whenever you want, on your turn. It's a free action. But only on my turn, not yes. on a, okay. Correct. <clears throat> and then lastly is the infinity symbol, which is a persistent effect that will stay in, in, you know, it will continue giving you bonuses throughout the game. 
Okay. And this was, it's not part of setup to say, hey, make sure there's one of every. It's just, it happened to work out this yeah, way. Yeah, so super weird. What Definitely a crazy shuffle that, that all. one of everything <laughs> showed up. Okay. So anyways, those are the five different types of cards that you can have. And okay. so when you play cards, you'll play them one at a time. So for example, this one would say I could do this power right away mm -hmm. and I wait to score those points That's until the end yeah, of the yeah. game. Right. And then I could play a second card if I would like to. And that would be my whole action. And Instead that would of be worker placement, it could be play one or two cards. Exactly. Right. Correct. So those are the two main actions that you're going to be taking. But the next one is an important one because this is going to be how you're going to score a lot of points, right? I would like to do that. At the, end of the, at the end of the game, we're going to score up these objectives. But if you were to complete any of these objectives during the during the rounds, you can spend an action to, in the, in the rule book, it says achieve an achievement. But uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll just say complete an achievement, right? No, and, I'm going to achieve achievement. <laughs> right? And so, for example, if I had three bugs, if I had three butterflies, then I could achieve an achievement and I could put one of my... <laughs> achievement markers here on the board on the space that I can achieve. Okay. This will give me end game points, right? But there's also a little bit of a bonus on your board. So you can choose where your achievement marker comes from okay. and you get to take the bonus. So for example, if I, at the beginning, maybe I want resources. So I take the one from there and I immediately get two resources. Okay. Okay. So achieving will give you victory points at the end and can also give you a bonus based on where the achievement And this goes achieving to. achievements was not a free thing. This is my whole turn could be work or place. Exactly. Play one or two cards or lock in one of these things. I exactly. Okay. It is a full action. That's my, that would be my turn. Exactly. Okay. Now, the other thing to note is if there are trophies remaining, you yes. get to take a trophy and that's worth three points at the end of the game. Okay. Okay. So it's a little extra bonus. That's why it has For a trophy on there. Yeah. Now there may be a situation at the end of the game where there won't be any trophies remaining. You would still get the victory points at the end of the game. You just wouldn't be able to drop. Can I achieve both of these achievements if I get four and then later on seven? You can only achieve one achievement okay. per card. Okay. Yes. You probably already said that, but... No, I didn't. I didn't. So right. those are the three main actions. And once you <clears throat> run out of actions that you can take or you don't want to take any more actions, you can then take the recharge action. So this is a fourth type of action. Yes, this is basically the, the cleanup action, right? When you're done. You yes, exactly. Do. So okay. what you'll do is you'll take all of your crew off the board, yes. right? And they will refresh for the next round. And you will take any recharge actions that you may have in your tableau, okay. which we talked which about, the ones the with the hourglass, hourglass okay. right? And then you will move your time tracker, which is up here at the top of the board. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but you'll move your time tracker forward. Okay. Now, if you are the first person to move the time tracker, then there's a couple of things that you need to pay attention to. So first I, thing yes. is you will reveal this token. This is an egg placement token. Okay. And so if you're the first person, you will reveal this and every spot that has that dot on the board, you'll take from the... Chicken, chicken cup. cup. The chicken cup is back, folks. That's... The game comes does not come with chicken cups. Sold separately, I'm sorry to <laughs> say. Unfortunately. It comes with a cloth bag. Yes, well, you'll, you'll take eggs from there and fill and put them on any of the spots that have this symbol on them. Okay. Right? So you're going to be refilling the eggs for you, but also for your opponent. And so... interestingly, not refilling them to the place where they originally were. So exactly. this, these chevrons were startup. Exactly. Eggs. Those okay. ones were start. But, you know, there is an opportunity that potentially they could be refilled. chevron eggs. Yes, exactly. Okay. So you will do that, and then you're going to take a look at the two oh, remaining resources. Oh, you were doing circles tiles. because that thing had a circle. Exactly. That could have been an X, which means fill them in X spaces. 100%. Okay, I understand. That's right. And then you will take one of these resource tiles. And I like will. I mentioned, these these resource tiles will be placed. So if I took this mushroom one, it has to be either here or here. Okay. It covers up an, an existing okay. one with a special action. All right. But both of these tiles are double-sided. They oh. have special actions that you okay. can take. On this one, if you want to put that on the green I screen, will. that one is... You can either get two of any resource, which right now the best you can do is one. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, two of that resource, excuse yes. me. And then the other one is you can recharge any charges on one card. Oh, if you if this is spent, you can... Re okay. Exactly. Right. So that would be that one. And then this one is a little bit different. This one allows you to activate a recharge card. Okay. Even if you're not taking the recharge action. Okay. Right? And then on the other side... The this one is you just get to draw two cards off the top of the deck. Right. Okay. Okay. So there are a, a variety of different effects that come on these cards. Some of that them are... will allow you to draw two. Uh, two. It'll allow you to take some eggs off the board. There are some that allow you to refresh some eggs. So we will. I assume there's a big those, list of them. Exactly. All we'll cross those, that bridge okay. when we get there. 
Okay, so now that we've talked about the main actions we can take, the other things, the I, I talked about the butterfly net, that's a free action. I talked about the energy tokens. And the last thing is the upgrading the crew. So we kind of mentioned this before, yes, but okay. if you, so for example, if I took the action to play two cards in my tableau, okay. I would immediately be able to upgrade my crew, which would allow me then to have this bonus. So my bonus says that each time I place my crew captain, I get to gain one more of an adjacent resource. So if I played it here, mm. I could get two coral, a star, or a, a flower and a fruit if I'd like to. Okay, whereas mine is, each time my crew captain is placed, activate a recharge card in my reserve. And that's reserve right. is all I've got in place. Exactly, that's your tableau. So, so I want to get a recharge charge sooner than later. Exactly, you should be looking for recharge cards and hopefully you got one dealt to you at the beginning so you can keep it and work towards building it. Oh, I don't that. know, I got a lot so. of cards to have a look at, got, but okay. Other than that, We'll talk about, let's talk quickly about objectives. Yes. So objectives here, these ones are pretty straightforward. These ones are single species objectives, and then there are double species, okay. multi-species uh, objectives. So these ones is, you got three... Achievements. Ach achievements, that's right. <laughs> You've got three dragons, and that those dragons can either be in your tableau, like symbols. Uh, I guess we don't have any dragons out here, but we have bugs, right? Yep. You know, if you have three okay. bugs in your, in your tableau, uh -huh. or they can be eggs. Oh, this one, yeah. Okay. So, or eggs. Yes. But those eggs can be spent. Yes, yeah, so... If you were to, if I had two dragons, for example, and I had the third dragon yeah. here, then I would, I would hatch that egg Ooh. to complete that objective, okay. right? And this one becomes hatched and is no longer can and can no longer be used for other objectives until it can be refreshed. There are some powers that can refresh the okay. eggs, which thematically I'm not sure <laughs> where that comes from. But this is a strange island; we've never seen this before. So it's a wondrous island. They're reusing eggshells, I suppose. Yeah in this island but there anyways you know. so that is how you would use eggs you would deplete them okay. in order to complete objectives i mean as i fill up eggs i get these benefits yes. immediately and then they're just sitting there waiting to say oh look i need my seventh one to okay exactly gotcha. exactly so these ones are the same this is dragons this is bugs right and then you have mammals and birds if you this is the combination of the are two. these random I mean, there were other they're random these? yes okay, so but, these just a sample seven that's right but the setup says that you don't want to have repeats so oh, there, it's okay. important that to that ensure there's want. variety of objectives. exactly okay so this one is reptiles and fish this one is primates and uh birds and those ones it's a combination of the two right <laughs> so if you got two two mammals two birds then you would be able to do the four there and you can get up to seven on that which is a lot of points gotcha now these ones are the same in every game oh these, these are always yeah here. these okay. three are always here this one is six of the same habitat type Okay. In so play. in your tableau, yeah. that's right. And those, obviously, eggs can't be used for that because it's sure. just the it's habitat type, right? Yeah. So six of the same habitat type. This one, I'm going to skip over this one because that's right. a little bit more. This one is just 14 cards played, played in okay. your tableau, mm -hmm. right? So as soon as you get that, you can get 12 points for that. And then this one is six unhatched eggs. Okay. And when you take when you, when you you achieve that achievement, you will have to hatch, hatch all. all six of and those they eggs. All, okay. Right, yeah, so that's yeah. kind of like a longer one to get to, and it can you have to weigh the opportunity cost of that one right. because... So hatching eggs, so far, mm -hmm. they can buttress up these to mm -hmm. get to these objectives, or this one. Yep. Is there any other purpose for hatching eggs? Are there like powers that say, hey, hatch it, this type of egg to activate this card? Or those totally. Kind of there yeah, are there are things. definitely some cards that will allow you to hatch eggs for points or hatch eggs for resources okay. Okay. or okay. things like that. So that is part of it. And then also, the more eggs you get, obviously, the you more get to powerful the points, action yes. will become. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha. So other than that, that is pretty much the game. We're going to continue around until either all of the trophies are gone okay, or someone makes it to the final refresh. Okay. Okay. So if we go through five refreshes and we get to this last one, mm -hmm. then all the, tro the all remaining trophies will just get discarded. Okay. And then everybody once once the somebody triggers the end by playing or by retrieving the last trophy or discarding all the trophies, everyone will play one more turn, including the person that triggered the end, and then that the game is over and you'll count up your score at the end. Okay. Remind me once more difference between refresh and recharge. It's the same. It's the oh, same okay. action. I just okay. <laughs> sometimes just I call sure. it refresh. Sometimes, but right. it is recharge in the so. game because there are recharge cards. Right. That's okay. So you were yeah, you were thinking refresh because a lot of games call it that. exactly. Right. So on my turn, I'm going to do one of four things. I'm mm -hmm. either going to place a worker out and scoop up goodies. Mm -hmm. I am going to play play one or two cards, right. my choice, I am going to say, hey, I nailed one of these things, or I'm going to recharge, which is a thing that pushes the timer forward. 
And get your workers back. And get my workers get back. Get your crew back. Perfect. That's right. All right. So the only other thing to note is here on the board, you'll notice that as you progress on this track, yes. which these are in-game points, which are the brown ones versus the red ones. Okay. This, the further you advance on this score track, you will also get some bonuses. So every five, there's a butterfly net that you'll be able to get. Once you get to 10, you get to put another resource tile on the board. Once you get to 30, you get a free trophy. So there okay. are definitely some bonuses for advancing during the game versus yeah. advancing incentivizing you to game. get those brown point exactly. scoring things. Were exactly. there any, were any of these an example of that? Yeah. So this is a, oh, yes a recharge action that will give you one point immediately per end of game card that you have. Okay. In your tableau. Okay. okay. Cool. 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 So that being said, at the end of the game, we are going to count up all the victory points that we have sure. on our in our tableau. Yeah. We are going to count up any end of game objectives that we've completed okay. within the tableau. We are going to count up any victory points that we got from achievements okay. on the board, and how where we're at on the current scoreboard. Right. And then we will get three points for any trophy, and then one point for any resource slash butterfly net that we have remaining. Oh, that we did not use. Okay. Yeah. And at at the end and apparently the there are more trophies because there are more opportunities for these at a higher player. Count That's right, yes. in a two-player game. Yeah, and there's even more in a four-player. All right. And, and I that think, is it. Okay, well, uh, then I think we're good to go. Yeah. And uh, folks, it is at this point that if you would like to watch Alex crush me, because he knows how to play this game, and I do not, although I, I feel like I've got a good fundamentals here, again, hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen and go watch the actual run-through. Or um, if you feel like you got enough and you just want to hear, well, how does the game feel to play, again, you can go to Final Thoughts. It's your choice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.